Yesterday, my campaign trail took us to Warrenham. The footage you're about to see now will completely contradict everything you've been told by the mainstream media, all the journalists and the politicians about what happened that day. From the minute we got there, we faced violent opposition. You'll see now as a young Muslim agitator aggressively comes towards me and is held back twice. <laughs> There you can see him. This is the man that's been portrayed to the whole country as innocent. He said in his interview he was only going to work. I was following him. You can see him trying to get at me. This was as soon as I got there. Okay, he was held back. You see him push a woman out of the way to come aggressively towards me. During this scuffle, he also, according to two ladies, assaults them. You'll now see the footage of the women coming up to me, telling me that he assaults them. The women come with me, they point to the young Muslim gentleman, they point to him to say he's attacked them. The police officers at that point, they ask him, they ask the police, we want him arrested. You'll hear the woman saying, if I assaulted someone, I'd get arrested. <laughs> Why is he not getting arrested? And we see this so much. A Mus if a Muslim woman had been assaulted, yeah, the male who done it would be arrested. Here we have two females, innocent females, in a town centre, have come under attack. They've been assaulted. The police officer, rather than dealing with it and doing his job to uphold the law, walks off. He leaves. You'll see as we follow him. <laughs> ladies talk to a female police officer and they explain to her they want him arrested. She gets in the car, they actually put the blue lights on to leave. You'll hear me telling the police officer, we have a large group of people who are being anti-social. <laughs> I am on a campaign trial. I'm trying to run as a member of European Parliament. I have a right to do that. I should be protected by the law to do that. We have a group of people who have purposely turned up to intimidate and be violent. And the police have refused to do their job. They've left. The man standing there, your officers are running away. The women have gone up to said he just assaulted me. Your officers are running off. They're, they're actually going to go. Another police officer coming out. Please go, please go. At this point, the group have continued to harass us. I've even gone for lunch. When we've gone for lunch to the market, the group even followed us there. 
The police are watching all of this. So I go for lunch, I'm followed, I'm harassed. Any other organisation or any other political party or politician who was on a campaign trail, look what happened with Anna Soubry. She was called a Nazi. That man's been arrested, he's been prosecuted and taken to court. Every politician spoke out against him. I've been harassed so far. I've had a young Muslim gentleman try to aggressively get at me. We've had two women assaulted. I then come back and another young male, another young violent agitator, who screams obscenities at me, then physically assaults me. I didn't, I didn't assault him back. So I've been, this is the first time I've been violently assaulted by a member of the public on a campaign trail. You don't know nothing, you bitch. <laughs> Did the police arrest him? I told the police he's assaulted me, I want to press charges. Was he arrested? No. Any journalists can check this out. He was not arrested, he was let go. Then of course, if it's happened once, it's okay, to, it's okay to do. I've been assaulted over the years so many times and nothing is done. The police have a job to do against everyone, evenly, equally. Everyone should be treated equal, okay? It's not okay to punch me, I'm not a punch back. Then, a young female physically assaults me again for no reason. You can see I'm not, I'm, I'm speaking calmly and nicely. I'm physically attacked again. What's on her chain is for, for the new Soviet, a fascist. Oh wow. You have a chain. Show the chain there. Show the chain. Show the chain. Show the chain. Show the camera chain. You got a fascist. Are you going to bully me into it? <laughs> wow. Honestly, do you think I'm going to bully you into it? You've asked me that multiple times. No, you have asked me that. You have asked me that multiple times. And that is technically a kind of harassment. You've been following me around the day screaming. You say that I'm not going to speak to you. I spoke to you quietly. And she's upset. You interrupted me. You spoke to you. She came up to him. She came up to him. I go up to the police officer. You watch the footage. I say, I want her arrested. She's physically assaulted me. Was she arrested? No, she wasn't. That's two people who have now physically assaulted me in a town centre on a campaign trail. The whole time we're being intimidated, we're being threatened, we're having feet, I'm being spat. The whole time. I'm showing clippings of what has happened. This young Muslim agitator who's been present all day, screaming Nazis, trying to aggressively get at me, is then standing there. I'm standing there, I can see him. I go up to him, I calmly ask him, why have you been violent? Why were you jumping around aggressively all day towards me? At which point, he throws a drink in my face. He was over the aggressive, he was jumping around like he was going to do something. He didn't do shit. The only person you pushed was a woman. No, you was, mate. We'll show you the footage later. So you come here very aggressively, you got over... <laughs> And the whole world's seen that. A lot of people are having fun about it. Politicians are now laughing about it. The media are making jokes about it, okay? I didn't know at that time what he's thrown on me. I just know I've got liquid all over my face. This is the third time I've been violently. That is an assault, okay? Someone threw an egg against Jeremy Corbyn's head. They got 28 days in jail. Everyone condemned it. But when it's Tommy Robinson, everyone's celebrating this, okay? Now you'd think I'm running as a, can a candidate in an election campaign. 
It is not okay behavior to violently attack me time and time again. But you wouldn't think that by any of the responses to what's happened today. <coughs> the response is, now has he walked off? Has he been arrested? Uh, can I ask you? Yeah. Of the people I gave you today that were sold, I handed them to you. Yeah. You walked off with them. So how many of them are in sales? I haven't actually walked off with them. Okay, your officers did. How many of them are in sales? I don't know because I am not in contact with None of them. None of them are in the cell. So I don't know. None of them are in the cell. You sold me three different people and none of them are in the cell. You've seen what he done. Was he arrested? No, he wasn't. Let's have a look what he says the police done afterwards. There you can read it. The police dropped him off at the train station told him not to worry about it. It's okay to assault Tommy Robinson. It's fine. He's celebrating with his little Islamic phrase at the end, in a taxi. Yes, bro. Yes, G. How are you, man? Respect, BB1, hey, all did, the way. Did you get, even get nicked? No, nah, bro. Yeah, man, everything's blessed, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, man. lana shukar. Not just this, but this has been celebrated by politicians, by conservative MPs, by the head of the Daily Mirror, the entire mainstream media and journalists are celebrating the fact that in our democracy, so-called democracy, I don't have the freedom to go and I'm not protected by the law. People are allowed to physically assault me. This has happened time and time again over the years. The Guardian. Let's have a look at the mainstream media. Let's have a look what they reported on this case. They reported when they interviewed the man who assaulted me, they reported that his milkshake slipped. They actually run this story, that it slipped. Let's watch that again. Jumping around like he was going to do something, he didn't do shit. The only person you pushed was a woman. No, you was, mate. We'll show you the footage later. So you come here very aggressively, you got over. How can your media, how can they do that? How can they just lie? All of them. It's unbelievable. This is what we're up against. I'm gonna get up against everything and everyone. The establishment, the media, the far left violently attacking me, the Muslims violently attacking me. Give me your vote. Teach them, show them. Now don't be fooled into thinking this is what happened the entire day in Warren. I'll now show you the amazing reception I received by the general public in that beautiful city. free to hold my election campaign in any town and city in this country. What this is about is trying to shut me down, trying to scare and intimidate me because they fear me winning this election. They fear you having a voice. They fear a message being shown to the world that the British working class communities have had enough, have had enough of this unfair system. I'm going to have to go into Oldham, into Rochdale. I want to because I want to speak for those people who have been left in those towns and cities that are being abused, that face hostility on a daily basis, that have been betrayed at every single level. I want to be their voice. I'm coming to your town. I need your support. You've witnessed yesterday, I, have, I had hired security, but we can't afford 10 security people. I simply can't afford them. I want to be alive on the 23rd of May, okay? This has happened in Warren and in Bury. I'm being surrounded by groups of young Muslims and activists, far left activists. I need to be able to act, I need to be able to go to these towns and cities. I need security. I should have security every day of the week, but I don't. I'm rolling up in these town centres with two or three men. That's it. Two or three men. And we all know what can happen. That milkshake could have been acid. And at some point it will be. I generally believe that. I want to be alive on the 23rd of May to show the world that I've just won the northwest of England's vote. Okay? But I need your help. If you can support me so I can hire proper security for the rest of the four weeks. You can do so at www.votetommy.co.uk. I need your help. We're in Middleton today. I'll see you all there.